Welcome back my duelist friends, Casual Duelist here, and yesterday I gave you guys the deck list for this Evil Eye deck build that I did uh, with one of my friends on my team, and honestly it's kind of fun, and uh, I told you guys today I would do just a pair of test hands, and uh, so I'd like to go ahead and see what, well we're not going to get that one, so... Uh, I'd like to see what we would get. I'm going to do the first one as though we were going to go first. We'll see if we can set up. And then I'll do another one going second and see what would happen if we could gate crash. So let's get our five cards uh, for going first. Let's put a deck there for now. And we get a Skullmeister. So if we do end up having to play through like an Ash Blossom, we can. We do start with the Evil Eye of Selene, which is cool. We've got an Allure of Darkness, so we're going to actually get two more cards here. We've got Basilius, so if we could board somebody else, we're good. And you know what? I guess I guess there were three copies of Paradola, so it does make sense that we would end up with Paradola. So, first things first. We went first. We want to try to generate advantage. We want to see whether or not we're going to have to play through an Ash Blossom. Uh, best way to do that is just activate your Paradola right off the rip. Uh, and we're probably going to be targeting Serzial, uh with an S, uh, as our monster to add to hand. And again, if our opponent went for that, uh, for the Ash Blossom, you chase it with the Skullmeister, uh, that'd be fine. Um, either way, you're pretty much getting this first search off. Um, that's the first one I find, that's one I'm going to grab. Would have liked to have found the Secret Rare real quick, but um, no, I'm not going to dig through there today, guys. I'm just not feeling it. So I'm going to give this a quick little shuffly shuffle and a cut. Set that back off to the side. So, okay, we we generated our field spell. That's awesome. We're going to be able to play Serzio. We're going to go ahead and get to any evil eye card that we want, uh, which is cool. So we're going to go ahead. Let's play Serzio. Let's do that. I'm torn. I either want the spell card that's going to let me summon from the deck or... I think that I think that's going to be the one I'm going to go after. I think I think we're going to go after the awakening because it's between the awakening and like the tokens. Uh, but I don't really see the tokens helping me right now. Uh, we're trying to set up a hand, and I kind of want to make sure that I can go ahead and drop my Skullmeister for the allure. Uh, extend with Basilius if I need to. Equip with Eye of Selene on. Watcher to be able to take out one card should I need to. Um, because again, if they special summon a monster, I can pop it. Let's go with Awakening. Awakening is going to give us a summon anyway. Um, and I think we're going to choose the guy that comes back from the discard pile because you know best move is best. So let's just do let's just do that. So we'll play Celine to Serzio so that you have the proper amount of timing. Uh, so we did do that. That's fine. Then you play your Awakening. Now we can choose to play one from deck. Again, you guys could probably play, uh, Medusa, but, like, she's not going to be equipped. So her effect isn't going to be the quick one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and summon this dude. I'm just going to be fine. And then when it's in the graveyard, we're going to be able to bring it back. So that's how we're going to go ahead and link climb. Um, should be fantastic. Um, so again, a little shuffle, little shuffle, little shuffle, cut it in half. Okay, so Awakening would be Toast. We'd be able to play the extension off Basilius. Uh, Basilius would just go anywhere, it doesn't really matter during the main phase, you can send one for a spell trap from the deck to the... So again, if we didn't have the Evil Eye of Selene, <laughs> for some reason, we could have pitched the Evil Eye of Selene right here. And then paid the thousand to bring it to the field face down would have been just as simple to flip it, um, but we don't we don't need that right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna link to. It's gonna go into your gorgon, and if you guys remember, gorgon gains a hundred attack for every evil eye with different names in the graveyard. We've got one, two, three different evil eye cards. So this card's at twenty two hundred. Uh, if it is equipped, well, it's not going to be equipped. You can only use that once per turn during the next game. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, that would technically be up there, but for the sake of instance, let's just move everything down a little bit. Um, and then what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to bring back 
that guy. And then we're going to be able to go into a link three here. Uh, and again, cat, yeah, that guy is going to banish himself. So that's going to be cute. Um, that's going to get you your Xerzeal. And then if this is Link Summoned, so he's not swinging twice. If it's equipped with Eye of Selene, you can target a card your opponent controls and destroy it. Um, again, was there any timing to where I should have done Basilius' effect? Uh, during the main phase, you could send... I should have probably done that, sent the other Selene. This way, they could have both been equipped. That would have been the best case scenario, so let's just forget that I didn't. And do the Alert of Darkness. Skullmeister's probably the one going. Skullmeister's definitely the one going. And uh, we'll be able to use Defeat as an extra pop. So this is the one that's going to let us Compulse or Compulse 2 since we have Selene. We'll set that. Hold another Awakening. And then next turn we could always do Awakening. Play out another version. Or play back the same Basilius if we like. And then get our second Eye of Selene that way. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Uh, but this this is like a decent decent way to go about trying to set up a lock. Uh, pure lock on most of this, but again, with the way that this build is, this is almost consistent with like how we end up playing. Uh, you guys might even trim these down to two, depending on what you guys are running in your extra decks. So let's try a go second, and I don't know. Let's see what kind of board break we might be able to get. So... Do a different shuffle. I get tired of just doing this, so sometimes I just do this. Not that you guys asked, but I'm sure somebody out there is going to be like, why does he keep shuffling a different way each time? Uh, just, just boredom, I guess. I don't know. How do you shuffle? Seriously, let me know how you shuffle. Do you guys shuffle like this? Or do you guys just kind of toss them in? Do you guys just sort of like grab them and just kind of like let them slide in amongst each other? I mean, everybody's got a different method, and uh, I don't know. Everybody seems to like their own method the best. Um, I think as long as you like move the cards like 12 times, it's pretty much a good shuffle, but maybe I'm just killing time. I don't know. Might all just be in my head. So let's go ahead and give that a cut, and we're going to go second. So there's our five plus our draw, and deck on screen. And we'll see if I can pick up any of that. So, okay, we're going to get Defeat. So we got our uh, Compulse. We got two copies of Awakening. So we got the Monster Reborn slash Hand, because we don't have Eye of Selene. We have two Medusas. This is actually not a great hand. Um, yeah. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to get a Lure of Darkness for the turn. Probably going to start with a Lure of Darkness real quick. Because again, two Medusas is, it's not terrible, but it's not the best. We will be getting rid of a Medusa because of that. Alright, so we do have Repose. We could banish a card from our graveyard. We don't have a card to banish yet. So what we could do is not a whole lot of anything. You'd basically be setting up for a stall turn and then try to play on your next turn. Um, we're not going to get access to our Evil Eye of Selene. Um, so we're going to have one spell trap negation. We're going to be able to set up Medusa, probably in defense mode. Um, we're going to do that off of an awakening. And then we're going to have defeat, so we can go ahead and compulse one. Uh, we will be able to draw one off the repose. Maybe we can get the card we need there. Uh, let's see how that works. So we want to play the awakening to get the Medusa on board. This is going to give us our card in the graveyard to banish. Then we'll go to Repose, activate this, banish one from the graveyard, draw. So we'll banish the Awakening, draw one. Got a Skullmeister, uh, not terrible. Would have rather had that for the Allure this time, uh, so that I would have been able to normal one, special one, uh, in the order of actual special, then normal, to go into my Gorgon. Uh, at least have a slightly stronger card on board. Uh, and then essentially, I'm just going to throw the two traps and basically have to call that a turn. Um, so again, the go second hand, not as strong. So just real quick, let me try to show my favorite thing by just cheating and grabbing every card all at once. Obviously, I love to have a Basilius in the hand and either a Surzeal or our Peridola. And again, this pretty much gets you all the way into a Link uh, 3. 
So what you'd end up doing is uh, you play the Paradola, you grab one monster. Honestly, we've already got the monsters that we need in our hand. So for this instance, you just grab somebody else, um, and it could be just anybody. It doesn't have to be anybody very specific. Um, you guys could grab the other guy, grab the graveyard one. Um, and then what we would do is we'd summon our Serzial, add one card. We're going to go for the Eye of Selene. Uh, again, you need just the one other card. You just need to be able to special summon. Um, so like Awakening. It should be like these three cards. Uh, but do, when you do all that, you get this. You Awaken one. You get this guy. Uh, you want to be able to play this. Extend. And by having these two is the ones that you use the link. Uh, it's just better because, again, you didn't have to use your normal summon. You use that here. Uh, so this ends up being your extension for that. Uh, this guy can be played from the deck at this point because you do have the Selene. Uh, so you don't have to start with that in your hand to use the Awakening for it there. You can have the Awakening in your hand and actually get him from the deck. It could be Medusa as well. I just prefer him because of the recursion from the discard pile. It'll get you a link too like I did in the first hand. You'll go into the Gorgon Empress. You'll re-extend out with that guy. Uh, which will allow you to go into Xur. And again, if you use the Basilisk's effect, the Basilius, which for some reason I missed again, because I'm just not with it right now, um, you would be able to pitch the other one from your deck, pay the thousand, set it, and when he's up, go ahead and activate that as well. So this will give you both of your Evil Eye Selenes, uh, while giving you two of the better effects. One being able to destroy a special summon what card, the other one being able to just destroy any monster card, uh, allowing you to really control down the. Or sorry, no, actually, Zerzil destroys any card the opponent controls. So again, this will allow you to go ahead and just like control out their plays a little bit during their turn because these will be considered quick effects because the Eye of Selene is in play. Um, sorry if that got a little twisted and a little backwards. I wish I would have explained it just a tiny bit better. Uh, but I hope that this was enough to get, kind of get you guys in the mindset to playing them. They are a very fun casual build. Uh, and I don't think that they were very expensive. I think the most expensive cards here are actually the Serzials. And I think they're only worth like three to five each. Um, outside of the regular extra deck stuff. So like Apollos is still worth a little something. Boral Sword's still worth something. IP obviously like 20 bucks. Uh, the Nightmares have really come down in cost. Uh, Saryuja might be a little bit, like a couple bucks, uh, but most of the extra deck, for the most part, very budget. Most of this deck is less than a $20 deck core, uh, so if you guys have got the extra deck to back it up, very cool, and a lot of this was re-released last year's Megaton, so this is like a lot of Megaton 2020 stuff, so again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, try to do a little bit better next time, and every other time I do these. And uh, honestly, guys, just have a great day. Uh, I'm not even going to ask for the normal stuff except having a great day. That's, that's the only requirement today. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.